Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. In today's video, I'm going to first discuss conversion within the international system of units. Then I will talk about conversion between SI units and other systems of measure used in pharmacy. And lastly, I will show you how to apply SI units in pharmaceutical calculations. Okay, let's get started. Let's talk about how to convert within the SI system. The SI system has base units. Meter is the base unit for length. Gram is the base unit for weight. Liter is the base unit for volume. When we look at the prefix kilo, it's 1000 times the base unit. So for example, one kilogram is a thousand gram milli is one thousandth of the base unit so for example one milligram is 0 0.001 gram micro is one millionth of the base unit so if we look at the table below we can see from kilo to the base unit is a thousand. So you add three zeros. So one kilogram equal 1000 gram. And then from the base unit to milligram, so from gram to milligram is another three zeros. So one gram is equal a thousand milligram. From milligram to microgram is another three zeros. So here we can see that one milligram also equal a thousand microgram. Um, I also wanted to point out that there's more prefixes um, than those here that I mentioned, but these are the most commonly used. Kilo, milli, and micro. So you'll see these a lot. Um, in pharmaceutical calculations. Let's look at a problem. Convert 1.23 kilogram to grams. So this can be solved two different ways. As we said before, from kilogram to gram, you move the decimal point three places to the right. So that means if you move your decimal point three places to the right, your final answer will be 1,230 grams. This can also be solved using dimensional analysis. If you want to learn more about dimensional analysis, check the link for that video in the description box. With dimensional analysis, we will need the conversion factor one kilogram equal 1000 gram. So that will give us 1.23 kilogram times 1000 gram over one kilogram. So in this case, 1000 is going to be on top and one kilogram on the bottom because we want the two kilograms to cancel out. And then your final answer is 1230 grams. Let's look at another example. Convert 9,876 milligrams to gram. So now from milligram to gram, you move the decimal point three places to the left. So that means your final answer would be 9.876 grams. This can also be solved using dimensional analysis. So you will need the conversion factor, one milligram equal 0 0.001 gram. Again, that's by moving the decimal point three places to the left. So then when you set up your ratios with the dimensional analysis, you'll have 9,876 milligrams times 0 0.001 gram over one milligram. Again here, the gram is on top, the milligram on the bottom, because you want your two milligrams to cancel out. 
So then your final answer is again 9.876 grams. Now let's talk about conversion between the SI system and other system of measurement used in pharmacy and nursing calculations. This table shows units from other system of measurement and their equivalent in SI units. For example, one inch equal 2.54 centimeters or one kilogram equal to 2.2 pounds. So this table is very important and you'll need to know these um, because in uh, pharmacy, pharmaceutical calculations, a lot of the times um, either the given or what they're asking you um, will be either in fluid ounce, um, in pounds, um, and then you are asked to find the answer in kilogram, for example. The given could be in pound and they're asking you to find the answer in kilogram or the given could be in milliliters or even liters and they're asking you for the final answer in fluid ounce and vice versa. Let's look at a problem where we can apply this. The dose of a drug is 0.5 milligram per kilogram of body weight per day. What is the equivalent dose in microgram per pound per day? Now, I would like all of you to try and solve this problem and let me know your answer in the comments below. If you've made it this far into the video, I would like you to like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded videos. Okay, let's take a look. So how do we solve this? We're given 0.5 milligram per kilogram and they're asking us for the equivalent dose in microgram per pound. Now, not only do we need to convert milligram to microgram, but we also need to convert kilograms to pounds. So we will need the equivalents in the table in the previous slide. So we'll need one kilogram equal to 2.2 pounds. We'll also need a conversion within the SI system, which is one milligram equal to a thousand microgram. Now, to solve this using dimensional analysis, we need to set up your, our ratios in such a way that the unwanted units cancel themselves out. So first we have 0.5 milligram over one kilogram times one kilogram over 2.2 pounds times 1000 microgram over one milligram. The two kilograms cancel out, the two milligrams cancel out, and our final answer is in microgram per pound. Again, don't forget to write your answer in the comments below. Let's look at our final problem. A nurse telephones a pharmacy regarding the proper quantity of an injection to administer to a pediatric patient from a 1 ml vial containing 0.1 mg of the droxin. The attending physician had prescribed a dose of 25 micrograms. How many milliliters should be the pharmacist's response? You know what to do? Try to solve the problem and let me know your answer in the comments. But let's take a look. We are given 0.1 milligram of digoxin per one ml. We're also given the prescribed dose of 25 microgram. And they're asking us for milliliters. So using the dimensional analysis, we have 25 micrograms. We have, we need the conversion factor one milligram equal to a thousand microgram. And we have to set them up in such a way 
that the unwanted unit cancel out. So we need the micrograms to cancel out and we need the milligrams to cancel out. And our final answer would, will be in milliliters. Okay. I know you forgot to do this. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned today, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.